this is Pastor Femi Akujano. I wanted to take a moment to encourage you at a time like this, during this time of the coronavirus pandemic, to ask God for his mercy. To ask God for his mercy. The Bible makes us understand in Lamentations that it is because of God's mercies that we have not been destroyed. But I also see in the passage of scripture where we are introduced to blind Bartimaeus, the role of the mercy of Jesus and how he turned his situation around. If you're watching me right now and you are in need of a turnaround in any area of your life, it may relate to this pandemic situation and it may have to do with anything else, there is a need for you to call on the mercy of God. This is really not the time to go before God and be claiming how righteous you are and how good you are and how you help people and all that stuff. I believe that we are at a season right now that we all need to humble ourselves and ask God for his mercy. In the book of Mark, chapter 10, I read from verse 46, the Bible says, And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting out, or casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Actually, what I'm sharing with you was a message I shared earlier at my service in church, and I just wanted to give you a summary of this message, and I believe it will bless you. I said before that uh, if you are in need of a turnaround, and of course you know many people are in need of a turnaround. In the case of this pandemic situation right now, the whole world is in a need of a turnaround. For some of us, it is our health. We need a turnaround. For some of us, it is our finances. We are in need of a turnaround. For some of us, it's in the area of our career or our business or in the life of our children, in our homes. We need a turnaround. And so blind Bartimaeus got a turnaround, but he got it by pleading to Jesus for his mercy. He said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Well, it all came about as he was begging by the roadside and he heard a commotion. He heard some noise and he inquired. He said, what is that? Who are those? Why the noise? And they said, oh, Jesus, Jesus is passing by. Who is Jesus? Well, Jesus is the healer. He's the savior. He's, he's everything. And, and they began to tell him about Jesus. And he said, oh, my God, I, I, I need this kind of Jesus. I need his help right about now. And I need his mercy. And so he began to cry unto Jesus. And he said, Jesus. Please, have mercy unto me or upon me. I love something that I want us to take note of. Because when he inquired, if you read, I just read Mark chapter 10, but if you read all the Gospels, you will see where he actually inquired of them. He asked them, what's going on? And so the people were not selfish in telling him about Jesus and what he's been doing and his power and all of that. Do you know that more than ever before, we need to tell our neighbors, we need to tell our family members, we need to tell the people around us about Jesus. We need to tell them about the power that is in Jesus to turn their situation around, the power in Jesus to save, to heal, to deliver. This is not a time for you to be ashamed of the gospel. If there's ever a time that you need to preach the gospel, it is now. The whole world 
are in fear and in tr trembling, out of panic. And this is a time that they need to know that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That Jesus is the Savior, is the Helper, is the everything. And this is the time that we need to open our mouth and share the gospel. And so this man heard about Jesus. And so he started crying for the mercy of Jesus. People of God, if you are going to experience a turnaround in this season of your life, you need to call on the mercy of God. The entire world, we all need the mercy of God right about now. And so he cried, Jesus, have mercy upon me. In that cry, you see a humble man. You see humility. We are not told how long he's been blind. We are not told his condition. We're not told whether he used to be a rich guy. We're not told what kind of education he had. We're not told nothing. But one thing we're told of is this. Regardless of his status, he knew one thing that nothing else mattered right now. This is the time to humble myself and ask for help. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy upon me. People of God, I want to remind you that this is a time for us to humble ourselves, to admit that I cannot help myself. My money can't help me this time. It's not my education that can help me. My fame cannot help me. Nothing else can help but Jesus. And this is a time to humble ourselves and call on Jesus. Do not allow anything to get in the way of your humility right now. This is a time to humble yourself and call on Jesus. People of God, it is a time for us to ask for his mercy. Hallelujah. Now the Bible showed us that after he started crying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. The Bible says that many charged him in verse 48. Many charged him that he should hold his peace. In other words, they told him, keep quiet, shut up. And the Bible says, but he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. He did not allow them to shut him down. I want to remind you, you know, in there's a possibility that some people may want to shut you up, but don't allow them to stop you from praying. Don't allow anybody to stop you from seeking God. Sometimes when you are faced with situations and, you know, you are going through something, there are those who say, why are you going to church so much? Why are you on the conference line for prayer so much? Why are you there serving God, reading your Bible so much? Don't let what they say stop you. If anything, let it make you to even do it more. And so he cried out the more. Hallelujah. And as he cried out the more, he got the mercy of Jesus. The Bible says, and Jesus, in verse 49, stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. Can you imagine that the same people that are saying, Shut up, are the same people that are saying, Hey, be of good comfort, you have gotten the attention of Jesus. Yes, he's standing still just for you, because you are crying for his mercy. They are the same people. Who are to now deliver the good news to him. Don't let anybody stop you from calling on the name of Jesus Christ. He got the mercy he asked for. And Jesus asked him, what do you need? What shall I do for you? And he said, that I might receive my sight. You may say, but why would Jesus ask somebody who's blind? What do they need? Can't Jesus see that they are blind and they need their sight? Believe me, there's a need for us to, to vocalize our need to God. There are some people, they are disabled. You would have thought they want to be healed. But to your surprise, you may find out they want to remain disabled so that they can get government checks for their disability. It is not everyone that you see apparently is in need of some kind of solution that's actually looking for the real solution. Some people want to use that thing as a crutch. But in the case of this man, he said, I want to receive my sight. And Jesus said, well, guess what? Go thy way, thy faith has made thee old. And the Bible says, immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Jesus heard his cry for mercy. Jesus answered his cry for mercy. Jesus declared his healing. He said, by faith, your faith has made you old. It's yours now. He received his sight. And I love something that I read there. The Bible says he followed Jesus. He followed Jesus in the way. He did not just receive the mercy of God and disappear. There are some people like that. They need mercy for their marriage. They need mercy for their children. They need mercy for their health. 
They need mercy for their job. They need mercy one, in one area or the other in their life. They get the mercy. They disappear. But not this man. He got the mercy of Jesus. He got his sights back and he followed Jesus. I want to remind you that if you are going to experience that turnaround in your life right now, and if we are going to express a turnaround in this world right now, in the middle of this pandemic, there is a need for us to call on the mercy of Jesus. He will be merciful unto us. And after he has shown you his mercy, by his mercy he kept you alive, by his mercy took you off ventilator. Don't go back to the world. No, stay close to Jesus and follow Jesus. But people of God, I want to encourage you, wherever you are watching me from, that if there's anything you need right now, you need the mercy of God. If there's anything the world is in need of right now, it's the mercy of God. And this is a time for us all to call, humble ourselves, and call on Jesus for his mercy.